Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Michaela, and today's video is going to be my hospital bag video, which is actually a collab with Hope and Baby, so go check her out and subscribe to her. Excuse my dog if you can hear him, because he's in the kitchen, and there's nothing I can do about that, so um, let's get started with the video. This is my hospital bag. I got it from Target, and it's just a um, mesh black hospital bag and it holds a lot so i'm glad i got this one i wasn't really worried about having a bag with a design or anything so that's why i got this so first we'll start with one of the side pockets and in this pocket are just some of these little clips because my hair doesn't stay up like if i were to put my hair up a bunch of pieces would fall on the back because my hair isn't long enough and bobby pins just don't work as good as these so these are the first thing that i have in there and then i also have new mama bottom spray i saw this on a few other moms or moms to be um in their youtube channels and i heard that they really like this stuff i got mine off of amazon and it actually came cracked at the top so there's tape on it and it's not really a big deal it still works and everything so what this does is it's just a naturally cooling perineal mist for pregnancy and postpartum so basically this just helps when it, after you have a baby it makes it feel more comfortable so that's the second thing i have and then i have a razor um this is mostly just for my armpits. I'm not sure how bad I'll want to shave after I have a baby or if I'll even care. But I wanted to bring it just in case because I do get really self-conscious about my armpits. So if I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. Then the next thing is Carmex. And I'm bringing this because my lips get chapped really easily and I put it on before I go to bed every night. So I wanted to make sure I brought some chapstick because the last time I stayed in a hospital, my lips got super duper chapped and it was really uncomfortable and it actually started hurting. Next, I have some um, contact solution because I wanna be wearing contacts when I'm giving birth just so my glasses aren't in my way or whatever. So I just have some contact solution with me to keep my eyes moist. And then the next thing is hand sanitizer and this is just for people um who want to hold carter but their hands are dirty and i really don't want um dirty hands on the baby i don't want him around germs so that's all i have in that pocket next is the other side pocket and in here is mostly just toiletry things and stuff like that so first thing that i have is some toothpaste because i am going to want to brush my teeth i can't stand not brushing my teeth so definitely having some toothpaste next is deodorant i bought the men's um old spice deodorant because i think it lasts longer and i think it smells better so i have that deodorant and then i have dry shampoo and it's just not your mother's clean freak refreshing dry shampoo the only reason i'm bringing shampoo is because i don't know if i'm going to want to shower or not or if i'll be able to so i'm bringing this just in case so i don't have greasy hair because i know that's going to bother me in pictures and then next i have some shampoo and conditioner and this is just the garnier Fruities, um, Sleek and Shine uh, Shampoo and Conditioner. And I'm bringing this again because if I do want to shower, then I'll have it. And if I don't end up showering, then that's okay. I'll just use it when I get home and I do. So that's everything that's in that pocket. Next is the front pocket. Like there's two side pockets and then there's a front pocket on the bag. So what is in here is a mirror just for if... I want to spray the dry shampoo on my hair and I don't want to get up to go to the bathroom. It's just this mirror and it lights up. Ooh, that makes the camera look weird. But it just lights up and it's just a compact mirror. So I'm going to bring this and hopefully it'll be a big help, which I think it will. And then next is my little battery pack. 
I got this from Radio Shack and I got it on sale and it holds up to 17 hours of battery so or of charge I guess so I got this and I'm going to use this in the hospital to charge my phone if you know the um, plug is all the way across the room or something I'll just use that and then in here I have a charger and headphones don't know how much I'm going to be using the headphones but they're in here just in case I end up wanting to use them then the next thing I have is gum I saw on a lot of hospital bag videos people saying that gum really helped them so I'm going to bring it just in case I want to use it I don't know if I will again but I'm going to bring it anyways and then the last thing is just a sleep mask I got this at Walmart for a few bucks um, bringing this because I can't sleep with lights on and I'm sure they're going to have a light on so I'm definitely bringing that now we're gonna go into the main pocket and the first thing I see here is just my portable fan the reason I'm bringing this is because I can't sleep without a fan on so it might be a little extra that I'm bringing this but that's okay whatever makes me comfortable so I'm just bringing this fan and then I have my nursing bra and I got this off of Amazon it's just a regular nursing bra it like twists here in the middle so you can like pull it down really easy so I'm just bringing this nursing bra next thing in here is another bra this isn't a nursing bra this is just a maternity bra that I also got off of Amazon neither of them are cute but that's totally fine and then the next thing i have in here is just this little um wrap thing i got this because a lot of people said that they felt like they're falling apart and that this really helped them so i bought this to put over me after i have him but if I do end up having to have a C-section, I won't be able to wear this. They will give me one that I have to wear. But as far as I know, I am having him vaginally, so this is definitely something I wanted to get. Then next, I have a bunch of pads. I really don't want to pull them out, but I might as well. They're just the Always Overnight pads, and I'm bringing a lot. I know they provide you with um well my hospital provides like a diaper type pad but i wanted to bring my own pads because i will be going home eventually and i will want to be wearing my own things so i am bringing just these always overnight pads like i said and maybe that'll be more comfortable for me maybe the hospitals will be more comfortable for me we'll see once i get there but then next thing I see are just some underwear and then um, some shorts. I wanted to bring some shorts just because I don't know if it's going to be hot while I'm in labor or if I'm going to be cold still. So I definitely still want to bring some shorts. Then the next thing I see are socks. These I also got at Walmart and they have grips on the bottom of them because... They're going to make me wear socks with grips, so I might as well just buy some socks with grips. Then, the next thing I have in here are some sweatpants. Again, don't know if I'm going to be hot or cold or how I feel, but he will be coming in July, so I'm sure I'll be hot. But I just wanted to have a variety of things because sometimes hospitals are cold, sometimes they're hot. So I'll just trial and error. And then, the next thing I have is just a plain gray short sleeve t-shirt and that i can wear home it's very loose and then the next thing i have in here is my robe i wanted to bring this in case i wanted to be in delivery with it on um, instead of the gown so i am bringing this to wear and if i take a shower i'll probably want to wear that too and then i just have another pair of underwear and then i just have some flip-flops i got these at walmart too for super cheap they they're just for the shower or if i want to wear them to go home but they're just regular flip-flops then the next thing i have are some 
hair ties because like I said, I most likely will be wanting to put my hair up. So I will need something to put my hair up with. And then lastly is a towel. This is for once I get out of the showers. I watched a hospital bag video and one mom said that the towels that the hospital provided were really not soft and not like a comfortable feeling. So I wanted to bring my own towel just so I knew I have a good towel if I end up wanting to take a shower while I'm in labor. So that is all that's in my hospital bag. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to go subscribe to Hope and Baby and I'll see you all next video.